This is the plaintiff, Pasquale Petrella. He says he loaned his living ex-girlfriend money so she could pay her bills. Now that they've broken up, he can't get his money. The defendant told her new husband he was harassing her, and the maniac came to his house and beat him up. He just wants his money, and then he never wants to see this woman again, and is suing her here and now for the $3,370 he's owed. This is the defendant, Corey Judson. She says she and the plaintiff were in a relationship and money went back and forth both ways. She doesn't owe the plaintiff a thing. He even continued giving her money once they were broken up because he was desperate to get back together with her. He should just grow up and get over her because she's now happily married to someone else. She's accused of leaving an ex high and dry. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $5,000 for her harassment. All parties, please use your ID. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome, ma'am. Mr. Petrella. Yes. You dated Ms. Judson for how long? About two and a half years. Okay, and you two lived together for how long? About two. All right. Um, you have filed this lawsuit for $3,370 <laughs> in different bills that you paid for her that you say she owes you, plus a loan of $1,800 that was for what? Well, over the course of the time that we were together. Just different loans? That, different loans. That would and add How up. would you keep track during the course of two years? How is it that you kept track of what it is that needed to be paid back and what so, just was the normal flow of money in a relationship back and forth that people cover things for each other? Well, I would write down, if she owed me for March's rent, I would write down $500 for that month if she owed me for car insurance. So how is, how is this 1800 made up of? Okay, so at the end of the relationship, there was a balance of $2,295. I reduced it down to 2000 and she signed a promissory note. May I see that? On that promissory note, she also made a $500 payment towards that $2,000. And then Can you show that to the defendant? Ma'am, what is this? I believe this was when he was holding my car hostage. Um, he said that he, I owed him money, and I couldn't, I'm not sure, he was keeping everything on an, uh, an envelope, really. He could have written anything on that, that envelope. Well, why I, stop borrowing money? Then we don't have a problem. Well, we were in a relationship. Money was going back and forth. Right, he, but if there's an envelope, then there's an expectation of payment if there's somebody keeping track. But he was keeping track. I don't well, know. Well, then what, you should keep track. Well, if you're you're you like, in other words, right. if it's a gift, then you just go woohoo right. and have another glass of champagne. You are but if you're right. supposed to pay back, don't you think you should be keeping track? You are right. But again, we were in a relationship and money was going back and forth so often. It, you know, it, when I you say back and forth, what did you pay for? A lot of things. Like, I mean, we lived together. Right. So, did you, you pay know, for his car or anything like that? Or He never paid for my car. Okay. Um, I was on, under his insurance. He, kept, he took basically over everything when I moved in. So I was paying him cash and he was paying the bills. So, and that's how it was. Do you owe him any money? I did owe him money, yes I did. No, do you owe him any money? I do not believe I owe him anything at this point. But you're not sure? I'm sure. Because you don't have an envelope. I'm very sure I don't owe Are you that. very sure? I'm very sure. Everything then why did you say I don't believe? Hand well, me what you have in your hand. Everything that I paid. Let me see the um, date that that was signed. Everything that I owe him, I paid. I have. Do you have any receipts? I have Zelle payments. Yeah, um, on my phone. that'll count. Zelle payments are receipts. Receipts just right. means any proof of payment, really. Um, I have. So you have a cash app called. There's a cash yes. app called Zelle, and you yes. can and you can show me that you paid him how much through Zelle. Well, let's see. But like I said, there was money going back and forth so often. When did you guys break up? April nineteenth, twenty nineteen. Is that accurate? Around April 19th? Eight, uh, Easter of twenty nineteen. Yes. Easter is when I moved out, so we had split up before then. So on this document, it says he'll relinquish the Ford, mm -hmm. and you sign it saying that you will give him $500 on April 24th and $100 every paycheck until the total of 2000 is paid. So when you say 
this, is pro this isn't that I owe him money, Judge. This is when he held my car hostage. By that, what is it that you mean? Was that car registered to him? Yes. It was my car. I paid for the vehicle. He put everything under his name. So the insurance was in his name. So why did you sign this? Um, I paid If you him. didn't owe the, the two grand. And I've made all the payments back to him since then. Since but, then. But then in emails. Okay, no, now I need the proof since then. That's fine. Well, if I have emails that he sent me saying that I don't owe him 1800 I don't owe him 2000 the, the amounts would change wildly over the course okay, of time. Okay, let me see those emails. And while um, she's looking for those emails to show to me, let me go back to you. What was it that um, precipitated the breakup? Um, she was a heavy drinker and she would come home intoxicated and- Driving? Uh, driving, yes. She actually drove her car into my house one day and I assumed that she was getting text messages from someone else on her phone. Um, she wouldn't let me see the phone. So it started an argument that ended in the driveway with her chasing me outside because I had her phone. And uh, it ended in the driveway and some things were said and I called the police and they had her leave the house. So they had her leave the house. They had her leave the house. The uh -huh. car was registered, titled, and insured in my name. But you know it's not yours. I never said it was. Right. I'm asking you to be very clear about that now, that that was a mess. See, this is what, how things get messy when people try to defraud the insurance company. You see, they don't want to insure you without getting a really high premium. So you put it in his name so that you fool them, that's called insurance fraud, into thinking that he's the one driving it and that that's the risk they're insuring instead of yours. How many DUIs do you have? Just one. Okay, and that's one that happens after you two break up? Yes. You two break up, like that, that was the breakup that night when what he described happened? Well, what he's saying happened and what actually happened are two totally different things. He did grab my phone and I did chase after him because he had my phone. There's, I tried to serve him with the restraining order. I tried to have him served three times. I couldn't, I could not get Tell me him about when why a restraining order. He started harassing me immediately after I left. Um, I had, you know, I, I submitted emails. These are just some of the emails um, that he sent me. Text messages, driving by my house. I have a video of him, you know, stalking where I was staying at my sister's house when I left his house. Um, driving by my job, there's absolutely no reason he needs to be anywhere near my job. Um, he was calling my boss, calling my supervisor, trying to get me fired, telling them that I was an alcoholic and a drug addict, calling my ex-boss that has absolutely I, I nothing to do with I see a series of emails that he's sending you, like this one, I guess he bought a new car. Yes. And he was like, this could have been yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this could have been us. Um, <laughs> That's a picture of my car. When did you have the DUI? When? Yeah, May what day? 17th, I believe. So the car got towed to his mm -hmm. house. And then I, within days, I, had, I actually was admitted to the hospital for emergency surgery. So I, there was no way I could get the car out. But in the meantime, while I'm in the hospital for a week and a half, having surgery, this is what he's putting on Facebook. And he's... And I have coworkers that live down the street from him. This is, this is on a main what happens when a loser drinks and drives. Boy, mm -hmm. you really know how, a, how to woo a girl. <laughs> that was already done and passed. <clears throat> no, but this is in the midst of you. I've seen the emails every day, a couple times a day sometimes. You would email her and ask her to listen to this love song or that love yeah. song or tell her you love her, tell her you miss her. You were trying to get her back. This is a weird way to do it. Your Honor, as far as the money's paid, she had only made one payment. You moved on pretty quickly. I did. You broke up with him on April 19th, and you were married by when? In June, the end of June. 21st. Is this a gentleman? This is my husband, yeah. He seems like a perfectly nice guy, but I have to ask you, because inquiring minds want to know, do you think through things beforehand at all? I do, absolutely. Like, how did Absolutely. you know so quickly you want to spend the rest of your eternal life? I knew immediately when I met him. I knew, I knew a when long time. When did you time. meet him? Um, shortly after him and I split. And within a, uh, eight weeks, you knew you wanted to marry him? Absolutely. This is from your sister's house. You can see his. This is just one instance that I actually started filming. This is him driving around in his convertible, blaring music. <laughs> I, and 
This is just one time. Dude, get over her. It's, it's, it's humiliating. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Now, according to you, her husband beat you up? Yeah, he came to my house, yeah. He was stalking my house from outside. I have a notarized statement from my tenant and a picture of his truck parked in front of my house. Why don't you show me a picture of how he beat you up? Well. Did he beat you up? Pushed me on the ground a couple times. Pushed you on the ground a couple times. You want to come up and respond? I've actually got a message here, him inviting me over to his house with his address and phone number. Oh, for a barbecue? And I didn't beat him up because sheriffs came over. Sheriff said, you know, this guy's got problems. Just go home, man. That's what right. the sheriff says. So why if I did beat you him show, up. Why did you actually show up? Because he was coming to my work calling my boss, showing up, driving to my work. So what'd you do? And I actually work across the street from her. So what'd you do? I went over there and asked him, you know, you need to stop this. And he kept putting his hands on me. I'm like, look, dude, stop putting your hands on me. Stop putting your hands on me. And I was getting loud, so the sheriffs came. So if I beat him up, don't you think the sheriffs would have arrested me? Yeah, well, he, he, he rolled back, beat me up to push me. So when he put mm. his hands on you, did you push him? I kept telling him he's going to. Yeah, is that a yes? I kept threatening him if he did, I was going to. Did you push him, is what I'm asking. I pushed him away from me. Okay. Um, and he kind of over dramatically stumbled backwards, looked at me, and fell on the ground. Right. Then got up, <laughs> then got up and asked me, AJ, is my shirt dirty? Yeah, I was going out that night. Yeah. I wanted okay. to look good. Gotcha. Oh, so I guess you weren't really beat up, though. <laughs> I got pushed if around. If you were worried about how you looked to go I out got that night, around. it doesn't sound like you were really I do have a beat statement. Up. I do have let a statement. Let me uh, stop talking and let me ask you a question. Sure. Um, did you send him a text saying, come on over, here's my address? Yes. Oh. And were you calling their employers and? No. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. How long after you start dating somebody do you start loaning them money, or should you? Maybe after two years. Two years? Mm -hmm. two Why years. so long? That's interesting. Uh, I just feel like it establishes, after two years, you kind of establish your relationship, so. What do you say? <laughs> eh, about a month or two, they can get some money out of you. I'm a victim. <laughs> You're a victim? How many times that happened to you? Uh, few times. You know the saying, fool me once? Fool me three, four times. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you proud of this? <laughs> That's life, man. Mm. Going inside the courtroom. You have a, a counterclaim against it for $5,000 for harassment. Let's discuss some of the emails. This is to acknowledge that the balance of the debt owed to Pasquale Petrilla has been reduced from 1800 to 400 based on the verbal agreement made between you and me. Please respond with your confirmation and date which you can resume bi-weekly payments. Why did you send that email on June 15th? We had a phone conversation and she said that she didn't think she owed me for things and I was trying to be nice and I gave her a reduction. A reduction from 1800 to 400 Correct. Okay, now why would you say that if according to your math on this piece of paper, it's 1900 She made one payment on the 31st of $100. Oh, 31st of what? May. Ha what is it you just flashed at me? The payment receipt from Zelle. Okay. Showing that she made Show me your Zelle account. Or you can show me yours that has payments from her. Money payment. <clears throat> I see a $20 payment to him on April 29th. What would that be about? I don't remember exactly, but she wants... And then May 2nd, $30. What was that for? Something that's... I mean, these are all after the promissory note. So am I to use these in your math or not? No. Well, yeah, I know you don't want me to. I'm asking you why wouldn't I, because it's not making sense. What's going on in front of me isn't making sense. What's... Okay, so... Another $20 one on May 15th. On May 31st, $100. So why are you paying him this if you don't owe him anything, my dear? They were probably from outstanding bills, is the only thing I can think of. I've never paid him back anything towards the repayment of a loan because they were never a loan. Then why'd you sign this? I think I was just trying to get him to leave me alone, to be honest. Well, I didn't, what do you think I'm supposed to do, just ignore this? Was, you know he, I can't ignore I this, I understand right? that, it's but he contract. was holding my car hostage. Did he call your employer, you started to tell me earlier? He called my employer, trying to get me fired, telling them that I was a drunk and a drug addict. Who did, he, um, did he speak to your boss? Who did absolutely. He speak? My, my, my big boss, yes. And what happened? I got called into a meeting. People, other people are saying that he's driving through and, you know, what's, that this is a problem. Did you get a restraining order? I did. And was it served on him? Yes, eventually. And uh, was there a hearing? We actually go back for a hearing on the 14th. He's contesting the 
restraining order. Okay. For what reason? I'm not, I have no idea. There's no reason for, I, like I said, I work at a factory. There's no reason to be driving through on factory grounds. Well, I mean, it's not going to be much of a contest, is it? You have video of him uh, driving absolutely. by. You have 100 emails. You or, know, and he's calling his employer, trying to get him fired. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, it's not going to go well for you that day. Um, driving by my sister's house. But where here's I, my question to you. And, and not a single one of, I mean, not until the very end is it, hey, you owe me money. They're all, I love you, I love you. And, you know, so why do you reduce it to 400? Did you ever say, I'll pay you 400? At the, at the end, I was just so over it. I told him, I said, you know what? I, I, that's exactly the conversation. You disputed the amount. I said, I don't think I owe you anything. He's like, just give me $400 and we can be done with it. I think it did, actually says it in that email. Check and the, did, check and the you the said email. what? And I said, whatever. What do you whatever. want me to do with this? Pretend it never happened? Or I guess what you're asking me is, I want $5,000 for harassment, Judge. Because he won't stop. He won't stop. And he's still not stopped. I think you're lying about whether you owe him money. I do think you're lying. No. No, I know you are because you signed a promissory note. And then it's like, oh, I just did that. I did that to get him out of my hair. You know, I think you're absolutely lying about it. What I'm struggling with is what value I assess to the perennial contact that he had. And what say you about that? You I, text her new, new husband. You tell him, come and get me. I'm here. You call her job and, and tell them she's a drunk. You put a sign on her, on her car that says, this is what happens when you're a loser drunk. It was so, my car. Well, not really. Titled in um, Not really. So I titled tell it. me. Yeah, no, it's titled yeah. in your name, but we both know it's her car. So we, and by the way, what's going on with that? Is it still titled in his name? Um, he is. He gave me the title. He signed the title over to me. Okay. He since went down, got a replacement title before I could even have the title put into my name. Then ha tried to have it towed out of my sister's driveway. Who did that? Him. My sister came out to had to, had to stop the tow truck while they were on the phone did with him. Did that happen? I was trying to repossess my property. What are you talking about? You I gave her the title. I did. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, that left a bad taste in the judge's mouth I'm right sorry, now. Judge. And that's just one instance. There's so many things that he has done over the course yeah. of these months. It's, I it's find ridiculous. that you owe him 2000 for the debts that I am positive you still owe him. And I find that he owes you 2000 for the harassment. That is my verdict. Leave each other alone. Other than show up in court. Make sure you show up in Absolutely. court and get the restraining Absolutely. order. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, after hearing all this testimony, the judge finds for zero for both parties. Mr. Petrillo, what do you think? What do you think? You win some, lose some, don't I don't know. You know, you sound, it makes it sound like you're a very vindictive guy. Would you agree? The DWI put me over the edge. It was my car, cost me money. Oh, come on, you know. I was angry. Just, you can't get over her. I am now. Can Tell I me. say hi to my family in Rochester? Not really. Sorry. All right. <laughs> OK, Have goodbye. Thank you. I don't know why you're smiling. You lost. Yeah, but Ms. Judson, what do you think will happen now as a result of this Well, case? hopefully it's over now, and hopefully the harassment will stop, and this will be it. Cross You're going to go to court like the judge Absolutely. encouraged you to? Absolutely. Get the restraint? Did he call your office? Oh, yeah, he called my work several times. We'd drive around the parking lot, um, just harassing. I mean, it just makes him sound like a nutcase. Well, almost. and he's still doing it, so the fact that he said that he's moved on is kind of yeah. ridiculous. He needs to stop. Wow. What a mess. Yes. A, and you, you left him in, in May and got married in June, right? Something like that, April. April. How's married life? Wonderful. Awesome. He's a great guy. Awesome. <laughs> Good. You deserve something. <laughs> thank you okay, so much. thank you very much. <laughs> Harvey? Okay, I mean, just so you know, getting a temporary restraining order is actually a very easy thing to do, um, and clerks are very helpful if you go to the courthouse.